Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss polynomial regression algorithm with a simple solved example. In the previous video, I have discussed the linear and multiple linear regression models. The link for those videos is given in the description below. In simple and multiple linear regression models, the independent and dependent variables are linearly dependent on one another. That is, uh, you can see here, the data is uh, linearly distributed. In such case, we can draw a straight line to fit to this particular given data. But if the data or the relationship between independent and dependent variable is not linear, in such case, we cannot use linear or multiple linear regression models. For example, if you look at here, this is the data set and this particular data set is not linearly distributed. In such case, if you use the linear regression model, then we will get large errors in this particular case. But how to avoid this particular thing is we need to draw a curve instead of a straight line over here. Now, this is how the model will look like. Now, how to achieve this particular thing because the data is not linearly distributed. That is, uh, it is not uh, linearly distributed. Now, how to achieve this particular thing is we can do two things. The first one is uh, we can transform that particular nonlinear data into a linear data and then we can apply linear regression model or we can use something called as a polynomial regression algorithm here. So first we will discuss uh, what is uh, transformation. So transformation is a process of converting non-linear data into a linear data. Let us say that uh, the data is exponentially distributed. The function for exponential distribution is something like this one. This is a polynomial function. Y is equal to A multiplied by E raised to BX here. Now, because it's a polynomial function, we cannot directly apply linear regression or multiple linear regression algorithm. If you apply, definitely we will get a large number of uh, error over there. To avoid that particular thing, we need to convert this particular non-linear data into a linear data. That can be done with the help of uh, ln. We will apply ln on both the sides here. That is uh, ln on left side and ln on right side. So ln of y is equal to, because it is a multiplication here, this will become ln of a plus ln of e raised to bx over here. Now, ln of e raised to bx can be written like uh, bx multiplied by ln of e and uh, ln of e is always equal to 1. So, that's the reason the final equation looks something like this. ln of y is equal to ln of a plus bx. This is a linear function in this case because we don't have any exponential term in this particular function. Now, once you convert your nonlinear data into a linear data, next we need to apply linear regression model on the top of it. And then we need to predict the dependent variable in terms of the independent variable. And then uh, we need to convert back that result into a nonlinear data. Uh, whatever the process you have applied to convert a nonlinear to linear, we have to do that particular thing in a reverse order over here. So this is a simple process what we follow. Uh, in the first method that is the transforming a non-linear data into linear data and then applying the linear regression method on the top of it. In the polynomial regression method, what we do over here is uh, we will handle the non-linear relationship between uh, any degree polynomial functions easily. Uh, for example, if the non-linear uh, data is of second degree, uh, the polynomial function looks something like this y is equal to a0 plus a1x plus a2x square. If it is a cubic uh, degree, that is a third degree, then y is equal to a0 plus a1x plus a2x square plus a3x cube and so on. We can do up to fourth degree. If it goes beyond fourth degree, then uh, it's very difficult to visualize that particular, uh, uh, can say that uh, the shape and uh, it will overfit the given data also. So usually we will go up to degree 4, not more than 4 over here. Let us consider the polynomial of uh, degree 2 and then we will understand how this uh, polynomial regression algorithm works here. If uh, the polynomial of uh, degree 2, the equation looks something like this. y is equal to a0 plus a1x plus a2x square. So this is the equation for uh, polynomial regression for degree 2 here. Now the question comes in front of us, how to calculate this particular three coefficients that is a0, a1 and a2 because x is an independent variable and y is a dependent variable here. The value of a0, a1 and a2 are calculated using this formula that is a is equal to x inverse and b 
the question is what is x and b in this case so x is equal to it's a 3 by 3 matrix because we have three coefficients in this case that is a0 a1 a2 so we will get a 3 by 3 matrix here the first row of this particular matrix is n that is the number of inputs summation of xi third one is summation of xi square second row starts with this one that is summation of xi summation of xi square and third one will be summation of xi cube here next it will start with this one that is xi square and xi cube and the fourth one next one will be xi raised to 4 in this particular case now once you calculate this particular x we need to calculate its inverse and then it should be multiplied to b here now the question is b is equal to summation of yi yi is what the dependent variable second one is summation of xi into yi third one is summation of xi square into yi over here once you calculate all these things we need to multiply it over here and then you will be able to get the value of a here once you get the value of a you will be able to get the polynomial regression model in this particular case now uh, what we do here is uh, we will take one simple example and then we will calculate all these particular uh, values uh, for this one i am going to consider the two variables x is a independent variable here and y is a dependent variable and these are the four instances given to us given this particular thing first we need to calculate uh, all these particular uh, parameters that is x summation of x i summation of x i square and so on so first what we do here is we will calculate the summation of x i here so we will add all these things we will get summation of x i we will add all these particular things we will get summation of y i here we need summation of x i y i so first we will multiply x i into y i we will get this particular column once you add all those things we will get summation of x i y i here calculate x i square you will get the summation of x i square next we need one more term that is called as x i square multiplied by y i first do it and then we will get the summation term here similarly x i cube and x i 4 will be calculated over here once you get all these particular uh, parameters we need to put these particular parameters into this particular x over here once you uh, put this particular thing in x it looks uh, something like this this is what the x over here and then the same values to be inserted into this particular b it looks something like this over here now according to this particular equation first we need to calculate the inverse of this particular x so that is what i have written here so once you calculate the inverse we need to multiply this particular matrix to this particular b over here now how to calculate the inverse to calculate this particular inverse you can use your scientific calculator you will get the inverse matrix once you get the inverse multiply it to this particular b you will get this particular mat uh, matrix over here this matrix is nothing but uh, the first value in this case is a0 second one is a1 and third one is a2 over here so once you calculate a0 a1 and a2 we can put those particular a0 a1 and a2 in our uh, polynomial regression function you will get the final regression model over here the final regression model looks something like this y is equal to a0 that is uh, this one that is uh, point minus 0.75 second one is a1 multiplied by x that is 0.95 into x plus 0.75 into x square that is the third value over here this is the final polynomial regression model over here now once you get this uh, final uh, polynomial regression model we have uh, only independent and dependent variable here if you know the value of independent variable we can easily calculate or predict the dependent variable over here for example if the value of uh, x is equal to 10 we can put 10 over here and 10 uh, over here once you solve this particular equation you will get the value of y over here so that is how we can uh, use this polynomial regression model to predict the dependent variable given the independent variable over here so in this video i have discussed how linear regression model and multiple linear regression model differs from a polynomial regression model given a non-linear data how can we apply polynomial regression model with a simple solved example i hope the concept is clear if you like the video do like and share with your friends press the subscribe button for more videos press the bell icon for regular updates thank you for watching